Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodeshawn here. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to balance chemical equations in three easy steps for middle schoolers. Let's go. So we're gonna start off with um, our generic equation and we have H2 plus O2 yields H2O. And if you notice, this is imbalanced, right? So the first thing we do, we have to count up our atoms to ensure that it really isn't balanced. Um, over here we have two H's and we have two O's. And then we have two H's and one O, okay? So um, now we're going to add coefficients in order to balance them on both sides, right? You can see that our hydrogen are balanced, two and two. And then our oxygen, two and one, that is not balanced. So that's where we need to start. And we need to make this one really a two, right? Well, how can I do that? I can go ahead and add a coefficient in front. Remember, you can only add coefficients. You cannot add subscripts. So I cannot add like a little subscript to here. I only can add a coefficient of two in the front. That will fix it. That will give me two oxygen because I'm gonna use the distributive property and multiply this two by the understood one that is here. But that will also change our hydrogen because this two is also distributed to our subscript two and is multiplied. So two times two is going to give me four hydrogen and it will give me that two oxygen as I distribute it throughout the whole compound. Okay, now we're gonna go to step three and this is our last step. We're gonna recount the atoms and adjust coefficients until atoms are equal on both sides. So let's see what we have so far. We have two hydrogen and four hydrogen so that is not balanced two oxygen and two oxygen, and that one is balanced. So we need to focus on fixing our hydrogen now. I know this seems like a lot of back and forth, but that's okay, you're gonna get there. Um, we need to go to the side that has the least amount, right? So four is bigger than two, so we're gonna go to the side with the least, which is two, and we need to make it a four. Well, how can we do that? Let's look at what we have. We have a subscript of two, I need to multiply something by two to get me four. And that is of course gonna be two, right? Because I'm gonna use my distributive property and multiply the coefficients by the subscript. So two times two, and it will give me four hydrogen. Now I am balanced throughout the entire equation. I have four and four and two and two. So we are good to go. This is my answer. It's the entire equation, you guys. If you see on a test or a quiz, um, not the entire equation, it's gonna give you your coefficients instead. So for example, it could say two comma one comma two, because these are the coefficients in your chemical equation that you had to figure out in order to balance this equation. So you're either gonna see the entire equation with the correct coefficients or the coefficients two, this is an understood one, you don't put a zero and it won't be blank, it will be a one and then a two, okay? So hopefully this was helpful, you guys. If you like this, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and I will see you all next time for more. Bye, everybody.